Yo guys and welcome back. This is episode two of the 3v3 Road to SSL of the series where I show you how I rank up as a top 0.1% Rocket League coach. We're currently pushing through the champ ranks, so let's get into it. Also, if you're new here and don't know me, what's up? My name's Luke, and what I'm actually better at is coaching. For those of you who don't know, I run Rocket League's number one live coaching program called the Grand Champ Roadmap 2.0, where we take players like you from gold through champ up to Grand Champ in just six weeks or less. At the time I'm recording this, we just crossed 1,900 players in the program, and over 70 of 125 seats are already taken for our January 2023 launch. So if you want to get involved before we sell out and go on pause until spring of next year, DM me on Discord with the keyword tip and we can talk details about coaching. My Discord will be in the first link down below. Otherwise, enjoy the video. Make sure you say hi, YouTube chat. We got a Skull Crusher up against Lolly and Broken Door. Um, I'm kind of speed flipping on the kickoffs, but you know, nothing too crazy. All right, so this ball is going to come to me. I want to keep the bounce high. So that way it comes to the center of the field, which is somewhere good for us. Um, and look, it leads to a goal. Once I see that ball coming to me and I see nobody like is on the right side of the field, I can play that off the wall and it puts it in a very dangerous spot. You got to be thinking like in threes, it's mostly about placing the ball in dangerous areas. So I want to find a way to get that ball high into the center, which works out. He says, great pass. I say, thank you. Here, I'm going to stick up. If I can grab that boost, phenomenal. This guy looks like he might clear, so I'm just going to wait. You know, my teammate's going. Don't want to commit. Notice how I check back to see if my teammate's left there. And once again, like, I could go for this ball, but there's nothing really yet. So I'll wait till it comes center. Then I can go for some sort of shot. As I rotate through, I'm always going to look to be a menace. And now this ball comes to the middle. Fake challenge because he looks like he's going. Great. Ball comes to me. I can just play it to the corner and buy some time. Nobody's challenging me here. So I'm just waiting. I get a nice high touch. And I can play it out to the center and get it to safety. Now, I'm scared of shot here a little bit, so I'm going to play net. Now, see, that's like an example of where going back post isn't necessarily the best thing. Because, you know, I, I know that there, there may be a shot coming, so that's why I wait center. Now, there I'm waiting back post because I see two teammates up front. And so I want to be the only one back. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait at half here. Just creep up, collect boost. Both of my teammates are up, so I'm going to play really, really patient. Like, yes, I could go get this ball right now, but my teammates are still back. I, I'd rather just buy time for them. Get a 50. Maybe I can look for a demo. This guy makes a mistake of flipping midfield. Almost lets me de demo him. Avoid flipping in the midfield because good players will demo you and punish you. These threats aren't punished or threat or these uh, touches aren't threatening, so I can just play back. Oh, I thought my teammate had that. I could have saved it. My teammate's rotating front post, puts the net behind him. He does everything. The, the main error my teammate made is, look, if you're going to go back, just keep keep the net in front of your car at all times. This will come down. I'm just going to fly. Get one touch over. Do doesn't need to be crazy. Um, you know, you can go for a shot there. Air dribble if you have the mechanics, but I'm just going to focus on the beat. My teammate looks like he's going across the screen, so I'm going to wait back. Teammates are still going, so I'm going to wait back. And Great. Hit it into my corner. This touch doesn't do anything. My teammate's going to be there. So I'd rather just be in net, covering shot at all times, not in again. And I just want to be the one that's back and ready to go. Take his boost, act like I'm going here. Fine, he hits it over me. All right, I'll look for demos on the way through. And nice, that'll leave an open net. Can almost go for a shot. Rotate back here, focus on collecting mid pads, pad, pad, pad. I'll have time to grab corner boost. And now I just want to make sure I get in the middle. Don't let any shots through. Once I see the ball go here, I'm instantly rotating back post. Once again, playing back. My teammate looks like he might miss, which is why I'm back post. Like, this is why it's so important to be back post if your teammates are ever front, because that happens all the time. And you can save so many goals. This ball's coming up. Notice how I'm going to take a really wide rotation around. That way I can cover as much of the net as possible. He puts it behind me there. Th this is really tough after my teammate misses. I could have been a little farther back. Most I thought that shot would come near post. At that point, you're guessing. I'll save my bad and move on. I'm going to grab boost and cheat here because my teammate isn't. Looks like he has ball. So I'll just grab boost and look through the midfield. Any demos? Nope. Nobody's here. So I can turn a little more aggressively because nobody was midfield when I just checked a second ago. Notice how when I move across the midfield, I'm always looking for demos. Look for him there. Not able to get it. Looks like he might have a shot here. Just play the middle. Disrupt. Grab corner boost. Should be able to grab half. My teammate grabs half. That's fine. I'm just going to wait back. Watch demo here. He looks like he's looking for a demo. So I'll chill. 
Teammate dumps it into the corner. Really not what you want to do when you see somebody camped in their corner. And now I'm just playing for 50s here. I just don't like committing in the corner generally. I don't want this ball to go into the corner. If it goes into the corner, our offense dies. So, like, I would rather they 50 it towards me and move it to the center of the field, which is obviously more dangerous. So I'm just going to position wall side, get a bunch of neutral jumps. Plays out really, really well. Simple kickoff. Not textbook, but I'm going to interfere with this play just because I see an opening. Have time to go back for corner boost and move up the field. This ball will come high. You should go for this ball, but I'm going to assume that you don't have the mech. So, fine. He hits it by. Teammate should have. Looks a little bit suspicious, but that's fine. I'm going to take this long boost pad around the net. Make sure I'm behind my teammate. Sweet. And now I can push up once he's safe. He flips into it. That's fine. Like, my teammates are still up, so I I'm just not really going to push up. Like, yes, I could be there, but I'd rather be in the midfield to keep pressure up here in this situation than, than be super far up and ball gets hit overhead and we can't do anything. I'll wait half here. I want to stop this play, but if you don't have mechs, I'm just going to assume it's best to rotate around. Let teammates go. Play back post. Continue to play back post here and just watch shot. I just want to be the one watching shot. You can bump me. That's fine. I'll be first here. Get a low 50. Now back it up. Teammate has a nice stop. This guy's going to boom off wall. Sweet. Let me just play back and watch net. It's a nice shot in. I should probably just be going towards these, like these sort of challenges. I should just go. I'll, I'll assume you guys can just fast aerial and go. I should absolutely go for this. This will come center. Might be able to get a shot off. At least put it high and awkward. Almost. Teammate's going to get a hit over. Maybe teammate can keep this in. Nice. Get a bounce up. No. We'll get into game two. We're playing Area, Zyrels, and Maxwell. Cheat up. Ball's going to come right, so I'm going to play this here. Nice. He, he gets a hit. That's fine. I'll move cross. I'm just watching net here. Able to get a pinch on the goal line. A little bit mechanical, but just trying to track it down. I hear my teammate jumping. Great. So I'll just move back post and continue to watch net. Not the best to save that to the center, but kind of working with what I have with low boost. Notice how I'm positioning up along all these pads. Now I'll post here. It's impossible to know that that ball's coming. I'm going to look to see if my teammate wants it and then try to get behind him. Might be able to get them on that guy. Got him. Looks like he's going to boom this. So I'm going to watch wall. But it just goes in. All right. I'm just flipping into this. Going to lose it back right. That'll play. This ball's coming pretty quick to the center. So what the heck? I'll, uh, I'll cheat up here. All right, 50 is going to go to the right. I'm going to flip after this, chase it down as quick as possible, and I'm just going to go for one touch and then a shot. Is this too much of an arrow adjustment? They're saying holy cow in chat. I air roll, and then I, fl I use the corner to flip into it to get power. Is that too much? They said KK, I give up. Is that that mechanical? What? I don't know. Ball comes up here. I'm just going to fly along the wall. I don't know if he's going. Like, is this that mechanical? I don't think it's that mechanical. That's fair. I just knocked it down, and then I jumped and went for a shot. What's that? That is basic ball control. I don't... I do not know what to say. What is that kickoff, brother? All right, we'll watch the play here. Doesn't look like he has anything, so I have time to go back. That guy's off the ceiling. Okay. My teammates are all in the corner here, so I don't want to go. I just kind of want to watch center of the field. I'm scared of uh, scared of the center of the field there. I'm going to move through. I genu generally, you don't want to move against the grain of your teammates. That's all right. I'm going to pressure here because my teammate was behind, just so that we have somebody on the ball. And we can chase this down. I should be first. Fake jump. Jump to get it over one. And almost a goal? No. This is open. That's all right. Play behind my teammate here. Nobody's over on the right side of the field. He's going all the way back to corner boost. So somebody's got to go for the ball. Oh, my pre-jump. But it works. But he's still going. But he own goals. That pre-jump was so bad. Okay, if you're Albert... It worked out. 
But if you're L. Brian there, that play is really like there are four people going for the ball. He's last man back and he's double jumping above it. Like that is the definition of of, of fast aerialing when you don't need to. You really want to stay grounded there and wait to cover the options. Like if there's like a lot of uncertainty, I'm not pushing up. Like look at all these people flying. There's no reason to push up. Just let them hit it to you. Now you have ball here. And then he just dumps it back to the opposing team. Okay. And is that in? <laughs> Why are they tilting, bro? Brother. It's a car soccer game. We'll chill back. Play it over to L. O'Brien. What a shot. All right, on to the next game. Cheat up. Ball come high here. I'm just gonna focus on getting a beat, move through, grab boost, move around. And pick up all the pads here. My teammate looks awkward, so I wanna help. Once I see an opening, I'll play up. Move through, might be able to get a demo on this guy at mid. Not quite able to. Don't wanna move out of position for demo looks like he might be going it's not it's fine I'll play across nobody's covering this middle of the field area this ball will come up get bumped up a little bit just gonna move across once that happens watch any potential center ball this guy looks like he's got him beat that's fine teammate wants to go no he's missing it's okay luckily he misses there my teammates all want to push up into the corner, so somebody's got to stay back. It'll be me. We'll hit off the wall here. Can maybe get a touch. I'm, I'm pushed up a little too far there and it makes the shot hard on me. But my teammate gets a nice beat. I hear somebody on my left, so I want to go. Just trying to get this center, but he keeps going for the ball. It's all right. And we'll get air dribbled into doom. All right, I'll cheat up. Ball's over my teammate's head, so I'll play back. Watching this center off the corner. Play it out using two jumps. Gonna continue to cover my net here. Nobody else is, is back. Just hold down the fort. And we should have, almost have an open. Almost. Hey, there we go. Nice shot. This is usually how my C1 D3 matches go. Yeah. I think this is I think this is fair. We'll go for this ball. Ball's gonna go high, so I'm gonna move through. My teammate should have a clear here, so I'm gonna watch his clear. I wanna get like some sort of redirector shot on this. Playing it into the corner isn't the best outcome, but that's fine. I'll look th for demos. Um aren't able to get anything out of it quite yet, so I'll move back. This guy looks like he's got a boom. Turn around, send it right back. Teammate almost messed me up, but that's fine. Teammate will get a touch off the side. I'm gonna jump instantly on this. Whoa. Um, just because that's in a very dangerous spot once it's going to the middle there. Uh, I'm gonna move up the backboard. Not able to get a touch. Um, but once I see this sort of delay, I wanna use my backboard. I'm gonna grab this corner boost from this guy. And push up my teammates on my right so I kind of want to play left he's now he's on my left I don't know where he is exactly that's fine I'm gonna look for demos at the midfield here to make it a nice clear so I'm just gonna play back and watch net just get in the way here keep it down keep it low nothing uh nothing threatening uh, my teammates to get a clear nice I got boost I'll move back a little bit teammate looks like he's missing We'll play that high. I'll let my teammate teammate go. He'll bump it into the corner. That's fine. Just gonna play mid here. Nothing really much I can do. Once he hits it forward, I can maybe go. Teammate pass it to that guy. But they're all preed, so it's okay. Maybe he could get up in time. At least slowly hit it forward. I'm gonna try to move through and get out. That's my bad. Didn't mean to mess him up looking for Two demos been watching the ball is in the corner content for longer woohoo 
Hey, thank you. I don't know how I have voice messages set up, but I This guy is just getting bullied today. You're dead. Now I'm getting bullied. Just trying to keep this in the corner as best I can. Not let it out to the center. Hoping somebody on my team goes. Nice. Somebody did go. I'll just wait back. Makes it nice and easy. It's a good save. Just continue to wait back. I want my team to go. They're all in front of me, so. Just gonna do donuts back here. Play one hard touch off the wall. Play another off the wall. Look for a demo, maybe. Not able to get anything, but we'll play behind now. Maybe my teammate gets a beat. Nice, I can be first to this. Able to get a bump, and then I'll lead to a goal. And I think I'll be able to pull through on this. Nice clear from the teammate. Should bounce up high. I'm just going to wait back. Looks like they might have clears. Wait till all the smoke clears and then go for it. Probably put it a little too hard for the team there. A little softer centers would, would probably work better, but... And that'll lead to almost a goal. Diamonds were good today. We're definitely at the top of diamond. DM me for coaching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the, uh, in the next video. Enjoy my Discord for free stuff, even if you don't want coaching. Yeah. Cheers, guys.